The World to Come program is presented by David C. Pack, Pastor General of the Restored Church of God. In a landmark series about the true church, Mr. Pack covers plain passages in God's Word that define the one church that Jesus Christ promised to build. In part one, the true church, identifying it, he begins to explain the characteristics of this church. Nearly 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ built his church and promised at the same time that it could never be destroyed. Foretold to remain small, persecuted, and uncompromising, this church, with faithful leaders and members in every age, has endured and continued. During the same two millennia, Men have been building their organizations, their churches. But Christ's church has been recognizable to those knowing what to look for. This church has existed unbroken for all these centuries. It can be found in history and traced to the present day. But how is it identified? For instance, some know the seventh-day Sabbath is commanded. Is any Sabbath-keeping church good enough? What else? How many other things must we know? This series of broadcasts will open your eyes. In part two, The True Church, Its Teachings, Mr. Pack provides an overview of the beliefs and doctrines held by this organization. In this series on the True Church of God, we have been examining what the Bible really says about its identity. Jesus taught, and everyone that hears these sayings of mine, my instruction, my doctrines, my commands, my teachings, the truths I bring, and does them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. Teachings are everything. In fact, in every regard, they define and identify the true church. In part two, we will survey as many as one broadcast will permit. Next in the series, part three, the true church, its government, reveals what is God's form of government and how he uses it in his church to spiritually care for his people. We're in the midst of a series discussing the church that Jesus Christ promised to build. He told the apostle Peter three times to feed my sheep. But how is this done? Who carries the authority, God's authority, to do it? Are all ministers equal? Who introduces doctrine? Do members have a voice in this and other decisions? The Christ of the Bible does not lead the world's churches, its people do. But how exactly does Christ head his church? How is it governed? And what prophecies, large and small, does God's church and no other correctly understand and teach? You will learn. The final part, four, the true church, only one, provides a capstone to the compelling scriptural evidence proving where God's church is today. When Jesus said, I will build my church, did he really mean just one? Are there verses in the Bible, plain statements from God, that make absolutely clear that Jesus Christ constructed just a single unified organization? There are, and in this final part of the True Church series, we will examine many. Watch the truth emerge and recognize that God would have to make available what you are about to hear. To view the True Church series and many other World to Come broadcasts, visit us online. Our vast library of videos presents the truth of God's Word on a wide variety of subjects. Keep watching The World to Come to gain plain biblical understanding available nowhere else.